How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Elvis Junction Reviews. Today, we're looking at something from the Atherin Genesis line. We are looking at an earlier version of a 33,000 UTC liquid petroleum gas tank car in the early style. This is for this is numbered for Exxon Mobil, number 34236. Here it is in its box in all its glory in the old style Atherin Genesis box. We're going to pull it out of here. It's going to go from this end because I don't like messing up the end that has the description on it. That's just the way I do it because I'm weird. Anyway, it comes out of this nice Atherin Genesis box. There it is in its packaging. We have a, oop, there's our Atherin warranty. Let's throw that over there. Whoops, just hit my own lights. And here is our pop uh, diagram, pop out diagram here, as you can see. This has got quite a bit of detail, so it's definitely be a little longer than usual. But anyway, let us get it out of its packaging here, in this plastic packaging. I got this actually for pretty cheap at a train, at a, at a hobby shop up in Roseville, California, because it was, it's an older, um, this is an older model um, before they had their whole rethink of the, uh, oops, the uh, the Genesis box. But anyway, now that we've got it out of the box, let's get into a little bit of history about this car. So the UTC 33,000 gallon tank car really didn't show up onto the railroading scene until about the late 80s, early 90s. And this is the original style with the full full length car walkway and ladders on both sides. Um, nowadays, there's only really a walkway here in the center where the actual um, opening to the actual tank is with ladders that run down this side of each car as opposed to over here. Now, let's get into some details starting with the front slash back. Alrighty, so we are currently looking at the front or the back depending on how you fancy. The only difference on the other side is that there's this brake wheel and chain. Starting at the top here, as you can see, we have our ladder handles here, as because these are that's the that's the step ladder to get all the way to the top of the car. If you needed to open the top of the tank here, which we will get to later on, but down here next to the ladder, we have our reporting marks MBLX thirty four two three six. This is for Exxon Mobil. Has the compare uh, the carrying capacity in liters and in gal U.S. gallons here, um, right next underneath. We have a little uh, explosive plaque for 1075. That is for uh, liquid liquefied petroleum gas, LPG. Down here we have our air tank reservoir for the air brakes. Here we have some we have a we have some uh, walkway handles that go the width of the car. We have our step way here, our walkway right here to get from one side of the car to the other. And we have some grab irons right here, one here and one here. Here is our very unique coupler as well as an air brake hose right down there. And here's our coupler cut bar. Now, like I said earlier, it's pretty much the same on the other side, just minus that brake wheel. All right, so let's get into some side detail. So because this is an Atherin Genesis product, it's got a lot of detail. You can really see the very, very warped, um, I don't actually know what to call this, but that came like that, so there's really nothing I can do about it. There is another, we have our our markings here again, MBLX34263, those are here and also up here. We have our FRA safety striping, one here, 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 and here. We have our liquefied petroleum gas, and it's non-odorized, um, so basically if this was to leak, you would not smell it. Anyway, you can actually really see now for good the uh, the, wa the walkway that extends all the way across the, the body of the car. We have our little grab ha handles here, and you can actually see that this is the opening to the tank car here. This la this latch, no, sorry, it's a this hatch does not open. Unfortunately, it is sealed to the actual car. We have another safety placard right here uh, telling us what's in the car and if it's explosive. There's also some more detail right here that is unfortunately illegible, so I can't read it. We also have in case this is an in case of emergency phone number here. I'm actually going to bring the car a little closer here. So in case of a chemical emergency, I dare somebody to call that number. I'm not going to do it because I'm not stupid, but I dare somebody call that number and see what happens. Over here as well in the car, you can see a, another load limit, but this is in pounds and in kilograms here. Load limit, load weight, and I don't know, this is new from October of 1996, I believe that's what that is. As you can see right here, it also says 2-inch HP comp shoes, and I'm pretty sure that's for the brakes. But anyway, let's... Uh, Let's go to my final thoughts. 
This is an amazing product from Athen Genesis. It looks great and it also has a great weight to it. If you're if you're rail fanning, sorry, if you're modeling the 90s and even modern day, an LPG tank car or maybe even a whole like set of them, get one because they look perfect on a manifest. And you can still, and funny enough, you can still use these early ones on modern consists. I still see these occasionally. Not that often, but I still see these occasionally at the uh, local Chevron refinery that is in my area. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Also subscribe if you have not. And hit the notification bell to know when I upload another video. I upload on Mondays and Fridays at 9 a.m. So come check out that around that time. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.